Good evening and welcome to Daily Devotions. I'm Deacon Mindy Bugai and I'm so glad that you're joining me tonight. Before I begin, I just want to ha- give you a quick reminder that on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m., we do have online worship available. Our website is godamong.us and there you'll find a button, ILC Online Activities. From there, you can access the worship service, which is on YouTube, as well as a coffee hour and fellowship time that begins at about 9.20 on Sunday morning. And after worship, there is a time to come together in a discussion forum. All of that happens on Sundays. Additionally, there are a number of ways to get involved in the church. We have a, a Lent series that is coming up and all the information for that again is online and we do hope you'll check it out and join in as much as possible. During Lent we are to set our minds on the experience of Christ and the 40 days of temptation that he faced in the desert. Some of us set goals to help us reflect more personally on that time. Those goals could be to make some sacrifice in our lives for six weeks. Or some goals may be to change something about our lives. Maybe we become more intentional in prayer or more generous in our care for others. And then at the end of those 40 days or six weeks, Some of us go back to our old ways and others find that the new way of doing things is better than before, so we stick with that change. We are all anticipating some kind of end, although it may come slowly, some kind of end to the pandemic and the restrictions that we're feeling. And if you're like me, you have some goals as to things you want to do then when it is safe. For me, I have some simple goals like meeting with students in group settings with no masks between us. I have more elaborate goals too, like using vacation time and traveling more. I think those will be easy for me to keep. But then I came across this passage in Paul's letter to the Philippians, and I'll be reading from the message paraphrase Philippians 3, 10 through 16. I gave up all that inferior stuff so I could know Christ personally, experience his resurrection power, be a partner in his suffering and go all the way with him to death itself. If there was any way to get in on the resurrection from the dead, I wanted to do it. I'm not saying that I have this all together, that I have made it, but I am well on my way, reaching out for Christ who has so wondrously reached out for me. Friends, don't get me wrong. By no means do I count myself an expert in all of this, but I've got my eye on the goal where God is beckoning us onward to Jesus. I'm often running and I'm not turning back. So let's keep focused on that goal. Those of us who want everything God has for us. If any of you have something else in mind, something less than total commitment, God will clear your blurred vision. You'll see it yet. Now that we're on the right track, let's stay on it. No matter what your goals are for Lent or For during or after the pandemic, keep in mind where the goals of our faith should be focused. Paul reminds us that it is our responsibilities as Christ followers to stick to the goals and the commitments of our faith and that God will work in us to help us to see and stay on the right track. Paul's goal, he says, is to know Christ, his power and partner in his suffering all the way to death. That may sound simple, but knowing that partnering with Christ is a commitment that can elude us sometimes. Well, that's the struggle. So this evening, I invite you to revisit your goals, not just for Lent, but also in your life now and in the days to come. 
If the focus of our faith is on the goals that Paul shares with us, it will become part of our very nature to live as Jesus taught and shine his light of love and grace on others. Let's pray together. Loving Lord, we need to keep the power of your resurrection and promise of our salvation as the guide for our life of faith. Help us as we pursue the goal to know you and your love more fully. May our commitment and love to you be a shining light that draws others to know you too. All this we ask knowing that you hear our words and know what is in our hearts. Amen. Well, again, I thank you for joining me this evening, and I hope that you will join us tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. online for worship. Good night, and God bless.